Obviously, I'm not coming from richest country. Sorry for that. So my name is Arto Grul. You can call me Arto or Art or Arturo for Spanish or Latino people, or just simply Kevin's dance partner. And I'm coming from a country called Azerbaijan. Unluckily, I will not have any muppets or puppets or beer or lemonade stands, but I hope it will be fine. Anyway, my presentation today will be about a story of me learning languages, four languages, with some key takeaways for those who want to learn a language. So, obviously, the first language I spoke was Azerbaijani, a language spoken in my country. Uh, but uh, I have been learning, learning English since kindergarten, although not really progressively. In kindergarten, during English lessons, we usually did something like this. Something like that every day. Thank you, Brian. So, don't get me wrong. I don't think kindergarten lessons were useless. I learned days of the week. I learned what's morning, what's afternoon, what's evening. And, but I must have forgot all other stuff like that we learned from there. So, I don't, and kindergarten lessons wouldn't obviously like bring me to the level that I am in now so I don't think kindergarten was useless useful at all in contrast with English I learned Russian at the same time pretty quickly uh, being people of post-soviet country as a Russian students or in my case my parents have had a choice of choosing to learn classes either in Russian or Azerbaijani and my parents chose Russian so one year before first grade I started learning Russian by watching cartoons in Russian and practicing with my aunt who knows Russian and I got pretty good by the first grade. So, and I believe even right now I know Russian better than my first language, my Azerbaijani language. And again, don't think I'm Russian as did so Kevin and Brian, Lucy. Yeah, I'm not. Seriously, yeah, I'm not. So, on this note, we move to the next slide. Grammar important this. Yes, yes. That's what they told us in the place where I went after finishing kindergarten school. There, although they taught, uh, there, although they taught us definitions of the words. Excuse me. I have to wear my glasses. They give me more confidence. Ah, by the way, they don't have glasses. So, in school, in school, although they taught us definitions of words in English, they mainly focused on grammar. They basically trained us in grammar more than in vocabulary. So by sixth grade, I knew all the forms of the irregular, irregular verbs, but I didn't necessarily know the meaning of those verbs. Uh, when I came to here, the United States of America, I figured that I know English grammar better than some American students, although I don't know the language as well as them. So the point of me telling about this as a person who knows languages is that my advice to others who learn languages, don't learn a language like this, this way. Grammar is never more important than vocabulary. After reaching some level, of, of course, grammar should be considered, but any person in any language would be able to understand you even if you talk grammatically incorrectly. Vocabulary importance is not grammar. So next slide please. And speaking about vocabulary, how should a person learning other languages learn vocabulary? Please, other slide, please. Not this one, no, yes, yes, thank you. Speaking about vocabulary, how should a person uh, learn vocabulary. I'm pretty sure most people think that learning by translations is the way. No, no, and again, no. 
Okay. Right. Okay, I exaggerated a, little, a bit. Learning the phrases like hello, how are you, good evening, and other basic vocabulary like sun, apple, with translations, is, it is okay. But once you reach a certain level uh, where you can easily have a basic conversation in a foreign language, like order a pizza in a cafe, or talk with a uh, with barber. So, in the language you're learning, you should start learning words by their meaning in that language. For example, the m meaning of the word exaggerate is to represent something as being larger, better, worse uh, than it really is. So, instead of memorizing this word by translating it, it is better to remember that the, the definition in the same language. Really, several years ago, uh, when speaking in English, I first translated every word in my head from Azerbaijani to English before saying that word, and that was a lot of work. But once I got better in English, I, I saw that uh, my brain just was thinking in English when it sp spoke in English, and I saw that translating is unnecessary at all. Now that I'm speaking to you in English, I just think in English, and really. When you were a baby and learned your first language, in your case English, did you learn English by translating words to the baby language? And I actually doubt it. I, I think you learned la that language by hearing it and all the time and speaking it. So, and so that's how, in my opinion, all the languages should be learned. So my advice, instead of, uh, uh, instead of learning a language by translations, Learn the language by listening to conversations in the language, understanding the meanings of the words you are learning, and uh, but not translating them. And here comes my favorite part: accents. Yes, yes, accents, accents. Yes, let's go. Accents can be different. This is an Italian accent, uh, and here is Russian accent, or my accent. You all hear it. And the problem is that I can't fix it. It's just how it is. And as time passed, I understood that I don't even need to fix it. Accents are what show where you're from, your nationality. And this is really good if you're patri patriot. But in my opinion, it's a good idea to make your accent weaker so that native speakers could understand you, what you're talking. So my advice to people with strong accents and who are learning a foreign language is to listen to conversations in that language and try to imitate their talks. That's what I did all the time. Especially the letter R that most English speakers can't pronounce <laughs> needs a lot of work for those to learn Spanish or Azerbaijani. So, and to be honest, I myself noticed my accent only when I came here to the United States. Before coming here, I thought I didn't have an accent and that I spoke just like native speakers. <laughs> no. And so, here we come to the last slide. Conclusion, key takeaways. Yes. So, as a conclusion, my advice for people who learn languages is to watch movies in that language they are learning, learn words by their meanings in the language they are learning, and not by translations. Try to weaken their accent and just speak the language. I mean, nobody cares how many mistakes you make. The more you speak, the fewer mistakes you make. Thank you. <laughs>